save me. Be my eyes. Won't be gentle if they spot me. Late last week and again this week. I do not see him being late when drink is cheap at the tavern. You seem to be waiting for someone. Everyone is waiting. For resolve, for courage, for love. For wares to be delivered under the cover of night. I have the supplies you're waiting for. Ah, finally, the medicine. The children have been waiting for days. Day and night I have prayed all I can. But their fevers do not subside. And the wear's over, quickly! Take them. Thank you. Now here is the coin owed. No need. To die from fever is not something I would wish upon my worst enemies. Heal your sick. May fate grant them an honorable death. I do not follow your customs, Northern One, but I appreciate your kindness. Godspeed to you. not to draw it and get that damned king of rats. I have a bad feeling there will be a trap waiting for us. You can't take that.
their strengths and without you we would have perished not often i find civilians robbing armed soldiers this is our silver they were trying to take they raise our taxes and keep the coin for their own indulgence true you helped win it back but we are not inclined to share i trust that you will let us pass in return we will give you a map we stole from the governor's men 
Where does it lead? The governor has a place to the north. The map shows a secret entrance. Imagine what you might find there. We plan to raid it ourselves. But I did promise you a reward. Take the silver and leave the map. Thank you, stranger. To a secret entrance. I wonder where it leads. Time to end this chaos beast. See me, this will get messy.
Hey, who are you? Your arena has no crowd. Oh, Ethan. Your eyes fail you. Can you not see my admirers all around me? I will not disappoint them. Ready your weapon. Step into my arena and prepare for defeat. Escape for you now, Ethan! You'll die in this ring. The last thing in your ears will be applause and cheers from my company here. For I... What? Uncouth, ill-mannered youth! Aha! Uh -huh. Your strike annoys, but you won't beat me for flair. I am quick. Quick as a sheep. Watch me leap. Brothers and sister Lilybun. They fought for honor, but I know more. Yeah. <laughs> 
sit where you can. Little mother will soon begin. The dark waters covered me. Then his holy light came and oh, the glory of his brightness. You will recall the miracle of Saint Orinus, how he raised the burned girl back to life. As a child, I too was burned and near to death. At his altar, the saint appeared, touched me, and I was healed. Time could not corrupt the saint's holy body. He touched me so that now I might touch you. Loki himself could not tell a better story. God Shh. is light. But what have you done in his light? All are turned to their own way and gone astray into darkness. The devil has hold of your thoughts, your hearts, your very bodies. No one is safe, whether you are pauper, king, or queen. Choose this day whom you will serve, for judgment is coming. And with it comes either deliverance or damnation. Let us pray. <clears throat> Gone. This little mother knows something about the queen. I need to find her. Have you seen my husband? You're troubled. It's my husband. He went for deliverance and hasn't come back. It's been days. Oh, it's all my fault. Tell me about deliverance. My husband was going to leave me, but he loves me. The devil got into him somehow. We sent him to Aquila for a deliverance ritual. Little mother said it would rid him of the devil. The rituals happen at Aquila. Yes. Little Mother has a sanctum there. Oh, my poor husband. Do you think he's okay? I think you should prepare for the worst and pray to your God for the best. <gasps> yes, I must pray. I must pray. I should go to Aquila where rituals are being done. Keep. I'm new here. Can you tell me about little mother? Oh. The deliverance rituals are all these drunkards talk about. Isn't that right, Bastion? You loudmouth shot. <laughs> <laughs> Take a seat, Narsoner. Bastion's buying and he'll tell you all about it. Right, Bastion? That's me, all right. Bastien's a loudmouth. Bastien's a drunk. 
Bucket, Bastien the Drink Buyer, hey Barkeep. Sit down, Northerner. I'll buy you a drink too. Really? You have us well, at an well. advantage, Northerner. Where do you hail from? I just got in from Milan. Milan? You're not one of Siegfried's, are you? I'm just passing through, friend. Do not go through Aquila. That's where they take the poor fools for deliverance. They might take you too. <laughs> tell me about little mother and her deliverance rituals. I can tell you it's a lot of extra work for us. Since she got her special prisoner, it's worse. Shh, Bastia, we can't speak of God's business. A special prisoner? Someone close to the king, they say. A woman, no less. Mon Dieu, Bastien! Ah, but we cannot speak of that, lest God hears us. Drink up, my friends! Bastien is buying! I overheard you mention little mother. What are you doing listening to people's conversation? Damn northerner! Easy, friend. I'm just curious. If you're so interested in little mother, you can walk out the back, up the pass, and knock on her door. Get you out of there. No! Leave me alone! I have to pray so the horse will come! Go away! Nice. Says here, little mother plans to put the queen through a deliverance ritual. Mentions an underground chamber beneath the crypt of Aquila. I need to find that crypt. People say little mother is fanatical, but the truth is she helped me turn my life around. Me too, brother. She was the only one who ever told me the hard truth. I could not deny it. Amen. I wouldn't listen to anyone, but I listened to her. I'm a better man today because of it. Show me.
amongst the dust and the taste of iron on my tongue. <laughs> Surely little mother won't hurt her. It isn't right. The knife is well made. But the edge is dull. It would not cut easily. I need to dip it in the blood. Oh! You startled me. You are one of the new assistants? Good. That is good. Yes, I have been sent to help. You've picked a bad time. They have the Queen in there. It doesn't seem right. I... I don't think I can do it. I will. Tell me what to do. Really? Okay. Little Mother needs her knife dipped in sacrificial blood. It is on the table. Then, you must take it to her. All right. I'll prepare the knife and take it to Little Mother. You stay here. Deliverance seems to come at a high price. The knife is covered with the blood. I can use it to get close to Little Mother while keeping the Queen safe. If I attack openly, they could kill the Queen. I need to find a way to get close to her without raising... This is not the work of God. You know the scriptures, Euphrasia. Where do they instruct you to do such things? My instruction comes from God, as you will soon see. That is the Queen. She's being held by Little Mother. Those are her elite guards. Best not to try to take them head on. If I open the cage in the other room, the guards might leave to investigate. Those guards have the key to the cage. Opening it would create a distraction. With my knife, your deliverance will begin. No, your majesty. I am only God's instrument. Is your knife God's instrument? Is your knife God's instrument? I can tell you the devil's spirit. How they scream at his touch. Is that the devil's fear I see? You are lost, Euphrasia. We have the queen of herself. Where is my assistant? I cannot begin well, without my knife. That's odd. Huh?
Before we are discovered. Oh, thank God! I was going to leave my wife. Now she is the only person I want to see. Go! Check the cage. I should not be seen. Check the cage. We have the queen herself. Who would have thought we could reach her so? Where is my assistant? I cannot begin without my knife. Here is my assistant with my knife. We can begin. I am little mother, touched by Saint Orinus, chosen by God. You are just another royal brood mare, mated to a king she doesn't love. In your bitterness, you turn him against God. You see, your majesty, you can hide nothing from a true servant of God. God himself knows I do not try. That is a lie. You speak for the devil now, do you know that? But we will cut him right out of you. Then we will get to the truth, you and God and I. Put your faith in that. Assistant, my knife. She was not always like this, and too young for such bitterness. Your methods are uncompromising, but your coming was God's doing. You are a northerner, aren't you? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan, and I am not here because of any god. I am here because your husband, the King, sent me. Charles sent you for me? There's no time. We have to find a way out before we are discovered. I know a way. Follow me. I did not thank you for rescuing me. It was a brave thing to do. It was not bravery. I'm only here because I have an agreement with... Charles to return you to him. Rats! The plague... The vermin have... Blocked in. The wall is weak. You have been used. 
by God today. Do not doubt it. But I have to go now. There is somewhere I must be. It was not your guard who freed you. It was me. And I did it only to return you to your husband. That is where we are going. You think because you did something it was not God? God used a donkey once. He can use anyone. Even you. Nevertheless, I'm taking you to Charles. It is not me, Charles wants. I can trust you. I know it. I perceive God working something strange through you. I will show you what Charles seeks. You could be trying to deceive me. Yes, I suppose I could. But I am not. Do you really not see the strangeness in all this? That it must be God. I see only that your God makes it so you can never be wrong. <laughs> I like you, Eva. I can see why God chose you. And why we should be friends. We will go together. I mean to bargain with your husband, the king. But he is a complicated man. You are being diplomatic. Charles was not always as he is now. When he was a boy, he fell into fits of madness. His keepers believed him possessed. Put him through a ritual. His conversion afterwards was so sincere. So he gained a terrible fear of fire. When we met, he was honorable and pious. You sound proud of Charles. You loved him. Do I? <laughs> yes, in a way. But we have never been a normal husband and wife in private. Does he not love you? It is not him. I could never be what he needed. But he is a man and found solace elsewhere. Often. The nun, little mother, was going to kill you. Perhaps. Her deliverance rituals were brutal and cruel. You survived. Euphrasia belonged to a secret group that believes Francia has fallen into apostasy. She thought me possessed. The Bishop Engelman was part of this group, I think. You know of Engelman? Yes. They call themselves Bella Torres Dei, God's warriors. And there are one of them. We have arrived. There is Bernard. You've brought me all this way to see a child. Yes. Charles has a son. Little bear. Plus a dix. You're safe. God protects me. Never doubt that, child. Bernard, this is Eivor, a friend. Go now and wash yourself. You've got more color on your shirt than on the canvas. He paints beautifully for a child, don't you think? He's better than many I've seen. Did you teach him? I do not have that gift. He got the ability from his mother, I think. Bernard is not your son. How could he be? Yet I love him as if he was. As I said, Charles and I were never that way. But he is a man and a king. Naturally, he found other places to satisfy his appetites. From that came Bernard. You're hiding the boy from his father. Charles wants Bernard to succeed him to the throne. And Bernard wants nothing else but to please his father. That is why I must keep Bernard from him. He will lead the child down a dark path. One not meant for a good king. My agreement with Charles was only to return with you. The child need not be involved. And I will not let him be. Bernard knows to find a church if he needs help and I am not there. I must leave again for a while. When I return, I want to hear your Latin verbs.
I know you're going to see father without me. I'm not stupid, you know. By keeping Bernard from Charles, you hope to prevent him becoming king. You misunderstand me, Eivor. Bernard must assume the throne for the good of Francia. You see what Charles has become. Bernard is young, but will make a good ruler. One that will be more sympathetic to your people, also. If Charles wants the child, he will not be pleased to see you without him. I hope that is not true. Charles knows the Bella Torres took me. He would be concerned. We have not been on good terms lately. But he sent you to free me. Perhaps he wishes to be reconciled. If it is wounded, it is dangerous. It is all right. Shh. Have you talked to yourself? There. God is with you. Be more careful now. Oh. They are noble animals. She had given up. She is all right now. Thanks to God. Are all bears so tame in Frankia? All of God's beasts respond to love, Eva. Even more so when they are hurt. In that they are not so different to people. You have the gift with beasts. But you're speaking of Charles now. You think the same is true even of him? Especially of him. We are here. Charles' camp. I fulfilled our agreement. Here's your wife, the Queen. She is unharmed. Charles. My dear wife, finally you appear before me. You must want for refreshment after your long and complicated journey. You are still angry. It is for nothing, Charles. I have been as faithful to you as I have been to God. I am sorry for taking Bernard, but... Ah, yes, my son. I thought by finding you, I would find him. But I do not see him. Where is Bernard? Safe. <laughs> do you remember the night we met? I've never forgotten it. The sky was clear and awash with thousands of stars. The night of our wedding, it was the same. I took it as a sign from God. I knew you and I were meant to be. You were in white. All purity and grace. I thought, tonight, I am not the prince. I am the luckiest man alive. How lucky to take a wife who fell so easily into another's bed. You did not take me as your man. But as your fool. Charles, no. To our marriage. We had a deal. Oh. Do not be concerned about Bernard de Chardis. He is my son. Without your interference, he will find me. And you, Northern Devil who presumes to sit at the negotiating table with a Frankish king. Here is your deal. You lied to me. I did not lie, Diable. I said God would make it so. And so he has. I will take care of the gods. Your Stay here.
going to crush you, coward! Always saying what they do not mean, to get what they do not say they want. I failed to mention everything about Charles. I'm sorry. The truth is awkward and I did not see the need. He believes you to be unfaithful. There is no end to his accusations. I hoped he had come to himself. Do you think he really meant to kill us? Yes. Now Paris will fall. Charles has made certain of that. Siegfried was right. Don't despise Charles. Like that bear, he may yet recover with God's help and become your ally. I do not share your faith in your God or your husband, but you carry both with a rare honor. Thank you. That is a high compliment. For my part, I don't think God has finished with you yet. We were meant to meet. Now... I must find Bernard. We will go to the Paris slums and aid the sick. Charles will not look for us there. I must go meet Siegfried at the forward camp in Paris. I have a seat to prepare and pride to swallow. God exalts the humble, Eivor of Raven Clan. You will see. Farewell for now.